Cutting dovetails in a barrel is a pretty common gunsmithing job. Let me show you how it's done. Here's an example of an empty dovetail and one with the front sight installed. We'll be using a cutting tool like this one to cut the dovetail. This tool is used in a milling machine since the drill press isn't designed for heavy milling cuts in steel. Earlier, I fit this barrel to a Remington rolling block pistol frame. The next step is to cut the front and rear sight dovetails. After securing the barrel in the milling vise, I make sure it's perfectly level. You can see the locations are clearly marked using layout fluid. The dovetail cutter must be secure in the collet. I touch the cutter to the top of the barrel, then move the table to the desired depth of cut. For our sights, 90 thousandths. This is a one pass operation, so I double check to make sure everything's correct before cutting. The setup takes a lot longer than the actual cutting. The cutters advance slowly using plenty of cutting fluid as there are many cutting surfaces engaged. To cut the front sight dovetail, I need a set of V-blocks like these that will hold a round barrel. I'll also need some brass shims since this barrel is slightly tapered. Making sure it's level, I set the depth of the cutter and slowly cut the front sight slot. Dovetails are always cut a little undersized, so I'll use a triangular file with one side smooth to open the slot to match the sight. Once the dovetail is filed to the proper size for a tight fit, I'll drift in the sight using a bit of grease to prevent galling. The sight should always be drifted in from the right side. 